Um, let's get into some pumpkins. I know everybody's tired of autumn, but I'm still finishing my journals. Um, I want to make some primitive pumpkins is what I call them, and then some basic traditional pumpkins using oval um, punches and oval dies. So um, let's get working. Oh, and then in case you don't have an oval one, which I can't believe this is the only one I own. I, I don't buy one of anything, but I couldn't find any smaller ones. So I had to dig out my nesting um, dies. So anyway, all right, let's go. Let's hope this is going to be a quick and easy one that I don't mess up. This is um, the little flip out that we had um, done on another video. And so this is a little journal card that I did for the top of it. Um, and I just collaged some scrap papers on the back. But I went ahead and put a pumpkin on the front. I just used two different kinds of embroidery thread, made loops for the little vine, a piece of cardstock, trimmed it down for its little whatever that stem thing is, and then glued a button on there. I know, why didn't you put anything in there? Because I didn't want any more embroidery thread because you know I had my little leaves but isn't that the cutest thing and that was using these two um, papers are from Janie B journals um, mystery three so that's what I used for that because it was orangey-ish yellowy browny earthy all that good stuff so that's that one and um, we'll make one of those so let's just go ahead and do it so I just took, because you're going to need two for the back, one for the front. So I know this has been around for forever and a day, but I'm making some. So if you love me, you'll bear with me. I know that was mean. <laughs> but let's just punch us some, um, some ovals. And I think one side of my pumpkin is going to be dark with that one. Oh, I hate leaving that plastic thing in. All right, let me get to one more. Oh, I'm going to trim that off so I can get to that side. Oh, hope y'all having a good day. I know. Guys, I got to get these done because, you know, what video pops up is Gail. Let's organize for Christmas. I'm like, no. Oh, God, I got to get these finished. So, I I'm getting there. All right, so we punched uh, two of our back back pumpkins in one different color for the front, just so it stands out a little more. And then let's go ahead and we'll ink ink around them. But yeah, I mean this has been around I don't know for forever, but it's a great basic thing to have and. If you need a pumpkin here or a pumpkin there, then you just make you a pumpkin. And it fills up a you know a good space on your cards. So I think I want to put him on this coffee dyed oops thing. And I'm trying, I might I really, really want to use some of this washi tape, but I don't know. I know I've never opened it, you know, I buy stuff on, on clearance, even though it was six bucks. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's pretty. But I thought this was, whoa, more fallish-y than it is. Maybe it's just because of my base. Oh, and then, you know, finding the, the opening spot. Jeez. But I just want to see if this how this will would look on here it looks like Baskin Robbins yes I'm hungry <laughs> oh I don't know let me see okay we have that one uh oh this one's kind of a little sticky never met a clearance washi tape that's on that was sticky <laughs> okay let's see we have that and I have what else do I have that's too much I know that's too much but I brought it anyway um, hmm we have that. 
I know. It's supposed to be easy. I'm supposed to have all my crap together. But I did not. Is that too... I don't know. I kind of like that. All right. I'm going to go for it. We're going to do not so... Be so indecisive. I'm going to have to trim the side down. But let me ink around here first. Let's glue this down. Y'all, I'm trying to retrain myself. <laughs> Quicker and easier. Oh, I can do my regular stuff on my own. No, I mean, just... I've got to learn to do some... Quicker stuff. So I can actually accomplish something. You know, this two journal a month is just not going to work. I need to do more. All right. So let me go on the side. And then we just go all around there just to. Oh. Man. When I'm done with this, I have to go eat. <laughs> My stomach is growling. All right. Let's just muddy that up a little more okay so and then we're gonna glue our little oval pumpkins down our sides Ooh, timber and let me see where did I decide I guess we'll go right there I don't want to take away too much from my my little berries. And don't worry if you don't have an oval punch or dies, but you have a circle one. We're gonna make a circle one. He's gonna be a fatty, but hey, they have little round ones out there too, you know. And then we're gonna do some primitive ones, <laughs> hand torn ones. And that is how easy it is to make a pumpkin. Now you can move him in a little closer, but he was he was a little fatty pumpkin. As you can tell, this one is the same oval punch, but I had moved these in a little closer. But whoops. Oh, I need to put my stem underneath there so I can't close that all the way down. So let me let me cut. Cut him some stem. Because you can't pick a pumpkin that, without a stem. Well, he just looks naked. <laughs> so, let's unnaked our, our pumpkin. I know. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put a little stem in there. I think this one I'm actually going to put leaves on it because I had a leaf punch I found. Let me see if they're going to be too big. No, I think that would be okay. Just fine. Let's see. Do I just want one? Maybe it's the pattern. Maybe I need... Maybe they need to be darkened. Maybe I should just use green paper. I mean green instead of a pattern one. I know, what was the point of using the my tweezers if I'm just going to get it all over me? Okay, so if we do it like this, maybe we'll do that and put a little button on here. Maybe that button's too little. Okay, let's try this button. Oh, that's bigger. I like. Okay, I like that. Alright, so we're going to glue him on here. And this is this punch I had from Momenta. He uh, makes 
like dimensional ones with the little imprints um, embosses those. Try to get those words out. Now, if you don't want to use, you know, a real button because you want to keep your, you know, journal cards flatter, then um, just use one of the ones that come from one of the kits that everybody puts in there. Let's see if we have. Oh, I know. See? Oh, I just cut out. Oh, I swear. I hide stuff on myself, and I only have like a four by two foot table that I have all my stuff stacked to the moon on. But I just cut all of my my autumn kit out. Oh, there it is. The sunflowers was getting me. I thought there were some buttons in here. Oh, see like that? I think that would be cute. Let's do that on this one. I know now I gotta make you watch me a fussy cut. But we're gonna speed fussy cut. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I lied. I can't fussy cut fast either. I know there were some other plain ones on here, but I mean on the kit, but I think it's still on the big sheets. Hopefully this will look okay. If not, I'll have to pull that out and put you on pause to go get it. Let's see what this looks like. Whoops. It's stuck to me. Oh, see, that's kind of cute. All right, let's go with that one, just so it's not so dimensional, so we can use it for in our tuck pockets and stuff. But I'm going to use that button. I think I might use it on the other one. You know, I got it out. Oh, but there. Now, isn't that just cute? I know, I'm partial to my own stuff. What can I say? Oh, Y'all know that already. <laughs> Oh, but that's a cute little journal card. So let me just put it underneath my block so it can it can dry flatter. You know, I like flat stuff. Okay, now we're gonna do. I did pull these out. I got another one of the um, coffee dyed index cards. Okay, so then this is the two inch round um, punch that I use. Let me put this up before it gets in my way or whatever. Oh, and then this is from um, our Halloween words, autumn words. It just says October. Oh, I hope I didn't even look. Oh man, y'all, I'm. Need to be an inch above. Okay. And then this is just a piece of scrap I had in my scrap pile on the side from doing something. Something in one of those autumn books. Journals. Alright. And then I inked around those already. And then I went ahead, I cut this one which is kind of greeny stripe stem from some scrap that we had well actually it was a larger piece of this because you know I thought maybe he was freshly picked and his little stem is still green he, he's not had time to turn brown I don't know it could happen I know I got crumbs <sighs> okay so I'm definitely oh man I hate when you cover up your okay that's that's better side all right, so I want to do that, and then we're going to make sure our words are right side up for a little roundy. I guess I'm going to do them that way. But see, he's just as cute round as, as the other one. So I'm going to do this one, about three-fourths and three-fourths. Do 
you smoosh him down, smoosh him down good. And then, see, I'm going to want him on here, but I want my October. So let me put my October, oops, a little over an eighth of an inch around so I can have some of my paper showing. Got to show your pretty coffee dye off, you know. Okay. And then, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and glue my sides so I can stick these on here how I want them first. So kind of wanting that one like that. But then I got to put some glue back here. Oop, that is the right way. Okay, just gotta make sure my words are right, just in case you know. Oops. Okay. And let me go ahead and glue my little stem on. We're gonna have a stem fiasco. I don't want a stem fiasco. And I'm going to put them up a little high because I'm going to put some loops and maybe the button on them here. I don't know. I mean, we've got a lot going on here. But that is stinking cute. Alright, let me just glue him down. I know. I talk to myself. You're lucky that some that you only get the words that come out of my mouth. Not that's what's in my head. <laughs> Cause yeah, oh, Lord, I would definitely be on the censor train. But it's 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 learning. It's catching on. <laughs> oh, got my leaf. I'm gonna lose him. Oh, I see a little bit of glue on there. All right, let me squish him down. Then let me decide do I want him in that or do I want I know I don't have I need some some more green embroidery thread which is over here so hold on let me grab it real quick I know I'm sorry all right and I do think I might, I might run that through on this one. Well, let's see if I can do this. Oh man, I was doing so good with the first one. I was trying not to have to, you know, put it in a needle. Here we go. Woohoo! All right. So let me just tie a knot. Supposed to be using that. Whoops. Hello. <laughs> Didn't quite cut that one right. All right. Now I'm wondering if I shouldn't have put it the other way. But I do want some of those floppies to show. I need that leaf. I think I need another color. Let's see if we got some green right here. And of all the greens I used. This is kind of thin. But let's see what it looks like. I know I should have had all these punched. But I've changed my mind in midstream as usual.
tell you. I'm about to get our home phone turned off. That thing rings and rings and rings with nothing but solicitors and and donkey stuff. I'm so tired of it ringing and them just leaving stupid messages. It's a waste of money. We never use it. Anybody that calls us, we don't even listen. <laughs> we don't even have caller ID on there. All right. Let me see. Yes, I like that much better. But now I'm not liking that. Let's just, oh, I had some string. Let's just make a loop over here. And I might put a smaller button on it. Okay. Glue my little leaf down. And I think I want to do this little button. Yep, that's what. I Oh gosh. <laughs> That's what I want to do, even though it's going to shoot across the room. Let me just go ahead and put the glue on there first <sighs> and see if we can't get our button on. We're getting our button on. Most people get their drink on, we get our buttons on. Oh, yep, I like that. I'm kind of wishing I had two loops, but oh well. One's fine. Just, just, that's fine. All right. Now see, didn't he turn out cute with his little round self? All right, that's that one. Let me put him underneath the block. All right. So we did, I showed you that one. All right. I'm about to cut that out. I don't like that. All right, well, let's make a little primitive, um, Oh, let me do this first. I know, I know. This is just a large 5x8 index card that's been coffee dyed. i got a big old mess going on over here. Let me ink around that. You know, and I think I want to round the edges. Hold on. Let's see. It's just looking so rough and so, so pointy. So anyway, y'all know what I'm doing. So I'm just doing that. I'll come back and do those in a minute just for time's sake. So I've um, punched these out of the large oval. And then I have this that is some scrap. I mean a piece of paper that I thought would be pretty on the bottom. But it is a little too long. And down here. All right. I don't like that corner. Let me just rip him off right now. <laughs> he was bothering me. Oops, don't blow so hard. I think I need a little more browning down there. A little more self-tanner. All right, and then let's put our, y'all, I am sweating, literally sweat is rolling off of my nose. Oh, I guess, I, I don't know. All I am is hungry, got a headache going on. Going to put these on here, 
but let me tack this down too because I don't want him too wide. I want him small, S narrow like my other one. Yeah, I mean, just use your different papers and your scraps and stuff that's laying around and, and make un untraditional pumpkins. They're cute. Some little rustic stuff. Here's some dog clunking up there. Don't even know what they're into. That's what's the scary part. Just like a two-year-old. When they're quiet, boy, you better go check on them. All right. So that's that. Now I need to get him. Oh. Well, that's a pretty little stem. Oh, well. Where I'll be cutting it, you won't see any of it. But <laughs> it's still a little different. See if I gotta cut it down some more. Oh, nope, it's gonna slide right in there. Okay. I didn't glue my my little booty down very good. Let's put some some more glue on my on my butt. Yeah, I said butt. But 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 but. Now isn't he kind of cute? Oh God! Somebody's whining at the door. I'm guessing a cat walked by. I kind of like that other leaf <laughs> after I did it. Let me punch another one real quick. I know my time's ticking down. I do know with this thing you waste a lot of paper because you can't figure out where the heck the punch goes and where it's not. I was going to go on this side this time. Be different. I know, I'm out of frame. I lean back and it's working towards me instead of on the mat. Alright. So we're going to stick that one up there. And then this one I'm probably going to wait till it's dry and come back and do something else to it. So, there's that cute little journal card, which, you know, I'll have to ink all around, all that good stuff. But, I'm trying to save some time. Alright, now we're going to do our little primitive dudes. Okay, so let me get a scrap piece of um, paper. And all I did is I tore them with my hands. I mean, you know, just tore them. Instead of punched them out or anything, we just, I, we, I just tore them. Let me see what side. This one looks good. We'll go back on this side. So you just tear them kind of however shape you want them, however big you want them. So we have that one because, you know, we need two for the backs and one for the front. And you just want these to be kind of the same height. And then I gotta tear my excess white off because that was 
an opposite tear from another tear. And if you look about the same, I hope this is too square, you know, even though it's primitive. So let's just ink around it so we can see what we'll, we got to, oh, that's too square there too. So um, we can see what we're working with. and kind of like that and now I need a another color for the inside let's see let me get I don't know That's some darker orange I think for in here so let me come to this side I'm coming to the orange side the dark side and that's not very straightish that went all crazy well let's see what it looks like on there you know, pumpkins aren't, aren't perfect. They're human. <laughs> that, that's a little too much bump. Let me just, let me just carve off. That's like this little wooden bear I have that this lady in um, Gatlinburg was on the side of the road with a cigarette hanging out of her mouth and a chainsaw just, I mean, cut this. Oh, he's the cutest little thing, but, oh, darn it. Um, anyway, we're going over 30 minutes, but this, uh, the little bear's belly was too big. And I told her, I said, Oh, I love this one. I said, but I just can't take him home. His tummy's too big. And she's like, I'll take care of that. Wow, wow. And she chops off his little tummy. And yep, I have him sitting down <coughs> at the foot of our stairs. I'll take a picture of him and show you. But he's the cutest little thing. Or she is or whoever. But yeah, she had too fat of a belly. I didn't want it. You know, she looked like a, she had her little beer gut. And uh, she couldn't come home with me like that. So... But yeah, we drove up there. <coughs> that was my Christmas present one year. Because I really, you know, I loved it when we saw them. I mean, oh gosh, the work that the lady did. But, you know, they were a little pricey. And so, you know, my husband was like, what do you want for Christmas this year? And I was like, oh. I said, you know, can I, can I have anything? He's like, well, yeah. And I said, I'd love to have one of those little bears from at Gatlinburg. So, in the car we went. We drove our little nine hours up. Got our little bear. Um, spent the night and and drove back so yeah that's what that's the kind of I guess if I still asked for something he would do it <laughs> but um, okay I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use this darker stuff on the back but you know nowadays it's just craft supplies I don't have anything <laughs> fun shoot I don't have room for anything else in this house Excuse me. All right. So let's just put this back here. And then we'll ink around there. I guess I should have turned the timer on again so I don't go over 60, but I won't. I'm gonna we're just gonna do these. But it was supposed to be a quick a 30 minute one, but no. Oh went over on that. I could have ended it and then just did this other one as another thing, but no, I'm just going to go on and keep on, keep on keeping on, I'm going to keep on filming. And I'm kind of thinking, I want that dark to still show, but then this is kind of too light for me over there. So maybe, oh, darn, I'll have to put some... Nouveau drops and sequins and stuff on there because I just, I like that. All right. Okay, now. Oh, I guess I should have got a, a little word. But no, did not. Hold on. I got to dig in my little Halloween folder and get a, a something. Um. Like a hayride. Could it be a hayride? Spiders like cat. Jack o' lantern. We'll do jack o' lantern. I mean, is I guess the difference between a pumpkin and a jack o' lantern. Well, okay, yeah, a jack o' lantern. He's actually got his little face carved out. Oh, but 
I do like it. It's cute. Jack o' lantern. Hey, Jack, what's up? Nothing. Just sitting around. Waiting for that hot little um, pumpkin to walk by. I like how she walks by. She likes to roll on by. Okay, well, we're gonna stick with that because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dig. Cause you know. Jack's waiting for his little pumpkin to walk by. He likes her. He like a pumpkin. Okay. See I'm I just entertain myself. Okay, so I think since that side, let me look and see how I want my stuff glued. Do I want the little fatty on this side and the fatty on that side? Nope. I'll do it the other way. Okay. So, let's glue this down. Let me get back up. sure that I got room for my little jack-o'-lantern let me just go ahead and glue it down oops I'm gluing all over the place today all right and then we'll put our other side down Oops, gotta leave a hole for my my stem. <sighs> Sorry if my big old head was in the way. All right, so. Where's my little brown? I should have cut a few of these. But you knew I did not. Just need to. Is this nope? That's not long enough. I can't make a bow out of that. All right. Do I want a fat one or a thinner one? I think I'll do the thinner one. So I'm just gonna get three strands. I'm trying to get three strands. All right. And we're just going to make a little bow. <gasps> Whoops. I might have pulled too much. I did. Doggone it. You know. Try to save a little embroidery thread. It's, it just doesn't work that way. Well, hex bells. This is why people buy pre-made bows. So you don't have to fight with them. I know. T 
10 minutes of tying a stinking bow and cutting with the wrong scissors, but oh well. Still fussing with it, still fussing with it. But I'm going to fuss it right on there. All right. There's our little primitive pumpkin. Isn't that cute being all different and all jaggedy? I know. I think so. I can just hear you. Why bother asking us? You don't really care. I do. <laughs> oh. And then this is just another one I did the same way, but he has a straight stem, which I, I kind of like the ones. And then he needs some, he needs something back there. But, all right. And then I was just going to show you um, with the small, the small little oval dies that, You can make the cutest little one. See, that one's got some of the little... Oh, I guess I could put it on a piece of paper so you can see. But see, that's a cute one like that. Then this one is the, the even smaller one. And I was going to put this one on the front to make a pumpkin out of that. And then this is... Well... I know there's two in here. Oh, there it is. And then there's this one that's even even littler. Oops. Sticking to my fingers. Got that. And with this one in the middle. So, there you go. We made rustic pumpkins. Primitive. I'm bad. Primitive pumpkins. There's our primitive pumpkin. We made a large pumpkin journal card. Let's see if I can get them all on here. A large pumpkin journal card. We made that journal card. Here's these other ones. And then that one. And I think, I think that's, oops. Well, I just wanted to show you, you know, use different sizes of, of your stuff. And you don't have to use ovals. You can use round. Round works just as cute. And I'm sure... The um, little scalloped edge one would be cute, too, if you wanted just to have something a little different. So, but there you go. Let me make sure that they're all up there. So, that's the little pumpkins that we made today. I know I have all my trash on the side. So, but there. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for spending um, your time with me. Thanks for spending some of your day with me. And um, if you're not all autumned out, you know, give your little primitive ones a try. Tear you some little scraps and then make you some, you know, basic pumpkins and stuff. He needs something. He's too plain. I got to put a button, you, you know. Anyway, I've got to decorate him a little more. But anyway, thanks for all your love, all your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. And um, here's some kisses. Mm, lots of love. And I will see y'all later. Have a great day and a blessed day. Bye, guys.